Y'all ready? Yes, yes, sir. It seems everybody but the Republican conference was ready to hear a new U.S. House speaker announced. I just share with my colleagues that I'm withdrawing my name as a candidate for the speaker designee. His failed bid exposes just how deep internal party divisions run. This country is counting on us to come back together. This House of Representatives needs a speaker and we need to open up the House again. But clearly, not everybody is there. And there's still schisms that have to get resolved. Those same schisms were what caused the historic ousting of previous House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. I just think the conference as a whole has to figure out their problems, solve it, and select a leader. Frustration is being felt by many Republicans who feel a small minority of party hardliners are intentionally holding up congressional business. Listen, we got to come together. I mean, at some point, all of these excuses uh, are not cutting it with the American people. We're $33 trillion in debt. We got a southern border in crisis. Israel is at war. Like, can we please get our act together? A sentiment echoed by the White House. What we're seeing is certainly shambolic chaos that we're seeing over there on the other side of Pennsylvania Avenue, and they need to get their act together. But the next steps are uncertain, with Mr Scalise declining to back anyone else, including his chief rival, Representative Jim Jordan. Mr Jordan had told colleagues he would no longer seek the job after losing out in a secret ballot vote. The temporary speaker, Representative Patrick McHenry, is seen as a possible fallback candidate if nobody else can win enough votes. With a narrow 221 to 212 margin over Democrats, Republicans can afford no more than four party defections if they want to end the political stalemate. And with the House entering its second week without a speaker, the pressure is on for Republicans to get their House in order. Madison Watt, ABC News.